Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be quite fun. It was a challenge. I challenged myself and the challenge was to pick a dozen bags to last me the rest of my life. And not only that, but half of them have to be luxury and half of them have to be contemporary because you all know I love both and I find a place for both in my collection. So I thought we would go every other one and I would show you each of these dozen bags. So to start with, I wanted to show you my Saint Laurent small Lulu in the earth gray color with the antique silver hardware. This is a absolutely gorgeous bag that can be worn across body or over the shoulder, which is the way I prefer to wear it. And the leather on these bags is absolutely scrumptious. I mean, it feels so, so amazing. And I actually have three of these in my collection and wouldn't mind having another. And they still smell good. I can't believe it. After like four years, they still smell good and still look amazing. This one is the most used in my collection because it is so incredibly neutral. I do want to give a shout out to my bag of the day though, which is also a small Lulu in the color sea turquoise. And you see I've paired a plaid shirt, which actually has the sea turquoise color in it and also an Effie ring right there which I feel like pulls that blue color out even more. So the first contemporary bag I want to show you as part of my dozen is the Marc Jacobs Mini the Tote Bag in the color Cement. Cement is such a beautiful neutral shade. And as you can see, the first two choices that I'm showing you are both very neutral. And I think if you're gonna whittle your collection down from like 70-ish bags down to 12, you gotta go neutral for the most part. I am going to bring in some color though, don't you fear. But this bag is great. I just brought it to the movie theater last weekend, and I actually was able to fit four bottles of Diet Dr. Pepper inside. It was a long, long movie. We were there for like four hours, and so I was able to consume all four of those, which is a bit scary. These bags are not in order of preference. They are the bags that I looked at, and in my mind, I was thinking a combination of functionality and the way they made me feel. If I feel happy when I'm carrying them, then they are going to be a contender. And also, I need them to be able to do a job because I'm narrowing my collection from 72 to 12. So here we go with number two. This is the beautiful collage bag in a blush pink shade. I can't remember the name of the color off the top of my head, but I absolutely love this bag paired with the antique silver hardware. And I guess I should have switched to a different brand for the second luxury bag, but I am just picking them up in the order that I set them on the floor. I love the collage bag because it's a smaller bag, but it packs a punch. It rides very comfortably crossbody with the strap that it comes with. And of course you can always swap straps since that strap is detachable. The next contemporary bag on the list is this Longchamp Extra Small in the red color. This one makes the list because it is my go-to sports bag. It works for both the University of Kansas games as well as my boys sports team games because red is one of the two colors for both. So I find myself reaching for this bag a whale of a lot. It's super comfortable to wear and so smooshy. The next luxury bag on the list is the beautiful Busey bag by Louis Vuitton. This bag, I love that it is epi leather combined with the soft pebble leather. And the chain that I have on it, I don't think you can get it anymore. I got it off Etsy quite some time ago, but it does come with a snappy strap and I like to wear this one on the shoulder. And one of the reasons I like this bag so much is the beautiful shiny enamel plaque on the front. I think that's such a nice touch. It's not super loud, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. The next contemporary bag on the list is the Tory Burch Small Kira. This is also a convertible bag and it is in a ruched lambskin. And I've shown this bag a few times recently. This bag is fabulous if you want to dress up or dress down. And I love that it's very discreet. The Tory Burch emblem looks a lot like art to me. And I think this bag is absolutely stunning. And one I would reach for 
primarily if I was going to dress up a little bit, meaning even jeans with a nicer top to go out for dinner, where I didn't want to worry about my bag quite so much. Of course, the lambskin is delicate, but with it being black, it's easy to touch up. And so that's why this bag made the top six of my contemporary bags. The next luxury bag on the list is one of my go-to travel bags, and that would be the Louis Vuitton Balloon Bag, or the Baloney Bag, as I affectionately call her. I actually have her paired with a chain that's a little longer than the one that she comes with. Usually the chain that comes with it goes like this and it doesn't hang over the end. But um, I have that on my Georges BB right now because it looks so pretty on that bag. I like to swap my straps around if you didn't know that about me. But this bag is so handy when you travel. I have several different strap options I can wear with it because it's black and I find it to be extremely comfortable, lightweight, and hold more than a typical travel bag would without being bulky or uncomfortable. Next is that pop of color you all have been waiting for, and that would be the fourth contemporary bag on the list, and that is this gorgeous Cassie 19 in the faded blue color. You can still get this. It's on sale for $206.50. I'll link it down in my description box if you want to pick one up. I have mine accessorized with a little coach feather that I picked up from another charm or strap along the way, and I just think this shade is absolutely gorgeous. It's not the most practical shade, but we don't need all of our dozen bags to be practical. Sometimes, we just need some fun. I keep moving back because I want to try to show you the true color of the bag. When I get up closer, it washes it out, but it is like an exact match to Tiffany Blue, the closest I've ever seen in a bag besides the Fendi Tiffany collaboration. So I absolutely love this little beauty and it is so fun to bring it out sometimes, especially in the summer. Next is a luscious lambskin luxury bag. Whoo, that's a lot of L's. And that would be my small Lulu puffer by Saint Laurent. I absolutely love wearing this bag on the shoulder. The lambskin is just so delightful. And this bag is amazing in the fall. I mean, it works all year round, but in the fall, it is incredible. So lightweight, so luscious. And I mean, what else can I say? The color is just incredible. Goes with almost anything. I mean, it even looks good with what I've got on. What can I say? So I absolutely love the Lulu Puffer, and that is why I have four of these bags. And I did mention it before, but I have four of the Saint Laurent Collège bags as well. I love Saint Laurent and I love multiples. I'm limiting myself though to no more than four of one particular style of any bag in my collection. Sometimes I get out of control and collect and collect and collect and then I pare down and pare down and pare down and that's a lot of work. So I'm trying to stick to the no more than four rule from now on. The next contemporary bag on the list is my soft tabby in the ivory color. I got such a good one with this one. It is a beauty. I have it accessorized a little bit with a charm that I got from one of the sales associates that I work with, with Coach, and then also a piece of a charm that I took apart and hung on the hang tag. I just like decorating my Coach bags. What can I say? But this comes with a short strap as well as a longer grommeted strap. But it's super fun to play with this bag. And I picked up one of the guitar straps with the ivory trim. And that is why I bought this bag. I wanted a solid ivory bag by Coach that would go with this guitar strap. This guitar strap also goes with one of my Cassie 19s, but that one is a color block one. So it's not as easy to wear with every outfit. This goes with virtually everything. And so I love having it and I love pairing it with different strap options. Take in point this strap, which was part of the Jean Michael Basquiat coach collaboration. And it also is ivory and is a dream to wear with this soft tabby. The next luxury bag on my list is my favorite bag in my entire collection. And I haven't even worn it yet. I'm waiting for the hardware protectors, but it is the gorgeous Dior Caro bag in the gray color. And I just absolutely love this bag. I mean, what can I say? I love the supple leather. It is so soft and I love the canage quilting on it. That's the thing I like about Dior probably the most is this canage pattern. I love the chain. I mean, my God, it's just so stinking pretty. And the way the strap 
fastens together. I really love that too. This bag's really comfortable crossbody or on the shoulder, and it is gray, and gray goes with everything. And I feel like if I have a gray bag with gold hardware, I can wear it with rose gold, yellow gold, or silver, because it's close enough to rose gold that it doesn't clash too bad. The gray sort of reminds me of silver, and the gold, of course, is gold. So that's why this bag has risen exponentially to make it to the top of all of my handbags. If I had to pick one, it would be this one. Last but not not least is the Coach Soft Pebble Camera Bag. You guys are going to be sick of me talking about this bag before the year is over. I love these bags. I have four of them and then I have one in the newer camera style and I think they may have even updated that style as well. I'm not positive on that but five Coach Camera Bags, that's a statement. I've thought about doing an entire camera bag collection. Let me know if you'd be interested in that because I have five Coach camera bags, two Saint Laurent, and I think three Gucci and a Prada. So I have 11. I almost need to buy one more camera bag so I have an even dozen. Wouldn't that be great? Be a good video title. <laughs> but anyway, this is the strap it comes with. I love that it has that red pinstripe in it. Like I've said many times, it goes with my kids sports team t-shirts really well. I have two other straps that I picked up along the way. And that would be this strap that came with the tally bucket bag. And when I sold the tally, I kept this strap. And so I absolutely love pairing this together. It's a really good fall look. And actually the color of this gives me similar vibes to the dark honey Saint Laurent puffer bag. And then the final strap I wanna show you that I love with this bag is the strap with chain that Coach sometimes has on their website. I don't know if they've had it recently, but this strap, it actually came with a little dangling Rexy, which I have removed. And I just think it's such a cool strap to wear with this bag. It just gives it a completely different look. I said that was the last strap, but I have one more. So, you know, that's why I love this bag so much. This bag can also give me a K-facet look and everyone who has watched me over the past year and a half or so knows I love K-facet and the floral prints that he has done with Coach and this strap gives me that with this bag. So if I had to narrow it down to six contemporary bags, this bag gives me so much versatility because I have so many cool coach straps to go with it. And with many of these bags, I have very cool straps to go with them that aren't the same brand as they are. I just decided for this video to pull out coach straps that I have that go with the coach bags that I'm showing. So for some eye candy as I close out, I wanted to just show you these two again real quick. I don't know which one my favorite contemporary bag is, but this would definitely be in the running. It is so luscious and I can't believe that Marc Jacobs can do full grain leather for less than $400 in a bag that's this size. This is the new small size and it used to be called the mini for anybody who might be confused. It's about 10 inches across, which is a similar width to the Caro bag and the medium size as well. I thought I was gonna hold those bags up while I was closing out, but they're too heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.